Hey folks, it's Dylan here from uh, Eat Wild, and today we're going to show you how we how we clean a spring salmon to get it ready for icing. Um, we had a great morning. Uh, we managed to get our limit of uh, springs uh, pretty early on. I usually try and clean my fish as early as possible. So if I'm out fishing and we catch a couple of fish first thing in the morning, I'll clean them right there on the boat and at least get the guts out of them so that, that they don't uh, spoil at all. And if I can get them on ice, even better. So, uh, but today we caught these at. Um, about 6.30 and it's 7.30 now, so uh, we're gonna clean them up. So the first thing I do is I take a good sharp knife and uh, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna make my first cut. I have the white the, the, the white belly towards me. I'm gonna make my first cut down here and I'm gonna cut the, his jaw down there and I can I, it's gonna allow me to pull back his head a little bit, which is gonna let, let me, um, I'm gonna cut these gills out. I'm gonna run the knife all the way around his collar and then down as far up as I can be careful you don't nip your thumb here with the knife. Now if I've made that cut right, I should be able to pull these right out, just like that. Look in there. Okay, so I've just run the knife all the way around here, and down and around. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, free up his guts. There's only a couple places where his guts are actually attached to his inside of his body. So what I want to do is I want to run the knife carefully around the inside of his of his chest here so i'm gonna run the knife around here you can actually see what he was eating here this looks like he was eating squid that was the last thing he ate before he uh grabbed a hold of our spoon um beautiful all right run the knife just the tip of the knife around here and free up that i guess that basically his stomach from Make sure you get all the way around each side. Once you've got that, I'm gonna slide over here. And I'm gonna, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them right up the belly here. I don't wanna go super deep, I'm just gonna use the first sort of inch or so of my knife. And I'm gonna start in his butthole over here. And I'm gonna run up. Now, you can either cut right up through here or you can leave that one up. I like leaving it together just because that's how someone showed me how to do it. And reach in here and I should be able to pull out most of the guts in one haul here. There we go, perfect. Okay, so this is the guts here. You can see that there's uh, uh, some, some row. This looks like it's a, gonna start heading back to the river eventually. And then inside the stomach, but you can always sort of see what they've been eating. Sort of. Oh, there we go, there's another one of those squids. So these guys were feeding on sort of brown and white squid. So we tried to match that with our spoon and we did real well. Now in here, this is a, it's a bunch of blood back in here. So what I do is I just take the tip of the knife and run all the way down. And then to get this to come out, what it, there's, you can see the blood in these, uh, in, in between the ribs here. Um, the first thing I do is I scrape out this blood here with the, with the back of my knife, or you just have a spoon, right? And another thing I like to do just to, maybe it's a bit particular, but, um, I'll actually run the knife right down those little veins of blood, or sorry, the, the spoon. You can see kind of the blood disappearing from the meat. The blood doesn't freeze very well, so it's nice to get all the blood out of the uh, out of the fish if you can. So that makes it, it makes a nice difference. Right? To... Do the same on this side here. Just run the knife gently along the, the ribs to sort of flush out those bits of uh, blood that's left in there. You know, the first thing I do when I when I when we, we take a fish on board is we'll always cut the gills, and that helps actually bleed the fish out. And a lot of this stuff will actually come out when it's just laying in the fish box. Just so you guys can see, I'll open it right up here. And there's a few little spots where some blood will hang in up here, so you just want to use the back of your knife to force that blood out. We should pretty much have her here. All 
All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I need to give her a spray here. One more squid. One more thing here, I'm gonna just give it a bit of a scrub out with this brush to get those last few bits. Beautiful. All right, so it looks something like that when you're all done. And the next thing we're gonna show you guys how to do is how to ice it up real on salt ice so it'll keep for a few more days. So you're ready to get it home and fillet it. Okay, so once you've got your fish all cleaned up nice and rinsed off, it's super important that you do a great, good job of icing your fish. You wanna, you wanna get that core temperature of the fish down as low as you possibly can and leave it on good quality ice. This is salt ice that we bought. We bought it a few days ago, so it's just starting to to melt a little bit, but it does, it's much better than your regular uh, ice. So I'll break it up a little bit so I got some stuff to ice to work with. Grab one of my nice clean fish here. Lay it down in here. Now, sometimes I keep the heads, but in this case, we're a little short on cooler space, so this guy's got a bit of a bend in them. So the first, most important thing is you gotta get their, their, their bellies iced right up. So lots of ice in their belly. And we are definitely gonna have an ice problem because uh, we're gonna need more ice for all of our fish. Normally I like to have this whole thing covered in, in, uh, in ice. So we'll go buy some from the store. Anyways, make sure you ice your bellies, get them iced right up, keep the cooler closed and in the shade. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.